I bid you welcome to the 2022 Fangoria Chainsaw Awards pre-show. Ah, 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 ha! Just kidding, guys. I'm not going to talk like that for the whole pre-show, but welcome. Let's get this party started. We are on the precipice, on the cusp. We are so close to the Chainsaw Awards. All of the blood, sweat, tears, months of votes have all come down to this moment. Not this moment, but the moment that will follow this moment in a few moments. <laughs> Before our main event kicks off on Shutter tonight, I have invited a few fiends along to help me get the party started. So grab your fancy duds, your libations, and your snacks, and let's get this party going. All right, creeps, let's check in with our friend and fiend, Gigi Saul Guerrero. Hold on, Gigi. hold on. I'm just, hold on. I'm just getting on the plane. Hold on. Ugh. Wait, oh, I'm so excited, yo. I got my whoa, hat ready. Whoa, I got my whoa. lashes ready. I Gigi. should be there in about like four hours, maybe five. I'm on Gigi, my what are you doing? Wait, what you're you supposed mean? to be in LA right now. The awards are like in less than an hour. This is the pre-show no. right before. What? Like, Wait, what, what are you talking about? Yo, I'm on my way. Can you guys wait? Can you guys wait just a little bit? Like, I, mean, I got my nails uh, done, girl. I got my nails. I got my lashes. Yo. You guys should know, you guys should know the number one rule with Mexicans. You give them a 24-hour notice on time and we'll be there oh on time. There is a thing called running on Mexicans. Fangoria, come on. <laughs> wait, wait, are you joking? Are you no. joking? Gee, 4 p.m. Pacific time is when the actual awards start, which is like in less than an hour. Dude, you're nominated. Your movie is nominated. You need to be here already. <laughs> I even bought a dress, man. Oh, no. I have everything ready, man. Like, I'm on my way. Like, I, I, like there's no way you... <laughs> okay, I will stall for as long as I can. I, maybe I can stall for, like, 20 minutes? I don't know. Can you get, like... Can you, like, slip the pilot at 20 to get you here faster? You know what? I'm pretty good at bargaining. You yeah, know, put you your it. dress on. Yeah. Put your dress on. Strut down the aisle and okay. just do a little knock and be like, "Hey, I need to be in LA by 4 p.m. Can we make that happen?" Yeah, you know what? I'm good at that. I'm on <laughs> it. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> okay, Gigi. I, ho I hope you make it in time. We we're, congratulations on having your film nominated. I hope we see you. <laughs> he didn't take my money, man. Oh, no. He didn't take my money, man. You know, put the dress on anyway. We'll we'll run that. You know, it's it's. You'll be here in spirit. We're together in spirit. Okay. okay? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm really late. I'm sorry. I'm really a, late. a little a little bit late. A little bit late. I'll, I'll okay. represent though. Yeah, represent. Okay. Good luck tonight, and uh, have a safe travels. Okay. Bye. Okay. Goodbye. Next up on our red carpet, we have the one and only Mr. Mick Garris joining us. Hello, Yay! Angel. Hello. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Me. I'm really, really well, thanks. Amazing. I'm doing fantastic. I'm getting to talk to somebody who made some of my favorite movies of all time, so I'm doing a great today. <laughs> oh, shucks. Thanks. <laughs> and I'm talking to somebody who is an editor at uh, one of my favorite magazines of all time. So there. Hey, we're both having a wonderful day. <laughs> we are indeed. Amazing. So thanks for coming to hang out with us. Happy to. I love my Fango. Yeah, yeah. Fango fam forever. <laughs> Absolutely. From the beginning, from that very first Godzilla cover. Yeah, I can't claim that. That's way cooler. <laughs> well, way older anyway. <laughs> oh, let's go with cooler. I'm good with it. It's way okay, cooler. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah. Okay. You know, take your win. Just take the win where you can get it, you know? <laughs> no, got it. You take your sip. I'll take my win. Okay. <laughs> Deal. You've got yourself a deal. Excellent. So tell me, what are some of the you're like? What were some of your favorite things in horror this year? Tonight is all about celebrating the best of the genre. Well, I gotta say, Edgar Wright's Last Night in Soho is one of the best movies I've ever seen, uh, uh, and it was really great to be able to see him go back into the horror world and really attack it with uh, all seriousness. And that was great. Mm -hmm. uh, Antlers was really great. Um, getting, you know, Guillermo's uh, Nightmare Alley, I guess you could call a horror movie, but maybe not enough for it to qualify as one of the nominees. But um, Guillermo's work is always filled with melancholy and darkness and beautiful artistry. 
Uh, I love In the Earth, Ben Wheatley's movie with Reese Shearsmith giving a performance that he's unrecognizable in. And it's just so great. And first timers like Rose Glass and St. Maud love that film. So there's there's just a lot of splendid jewelry to be found this year. <laughs> I like that splendid jewelry, indeed. <laughs> but I, as you're saying all these titles, I'm just like, oh my God, like we were very spoiled this last year, I feel like. Yeah, we were lucky because we were all inside and we <laughs> had to <laughs> seek out our our entertainment uh, virtually for the most part. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there was a, an embarrassment of riches. <laughs> an absolute embarrassment of riches. Yeah. I like that you mentioned uh, Last Night in Soho because I feel like as I was sitting watching that the first time, I just felt like I felt like I was like a kid when I would go to the movie theater. Something just is so big that was like cinema with like a capital C. Like just everything yeah. about that movie was so glorious and big and giant and magical that it just like smacks you in the face and you're like, that's a fucking movie. Yeah, it really takes you there. It is fresh. It's new. It's inventive. You know that and i know it's this year instead of last year but everything everywhere all at once gave me that same sense of cinematic discovery of freshness and the thrill of seeing all of the tools of cinema used in an entirely new way yes 2023 chainsaw awards <laughs> yeah well we'll see <laughs> we'll find a way to be like oh there's some horrific enough elements that we can work that in. yeah hot dog fingers would do yeah that's yeah right that's totally that's horrifying <laughs> that qualifies in my book yeah. would you rather have to have hot dog fingers or hamburger fingers if your hands were transformed right now well frankly i'm a vegan so neither one would make me no. happy <laughs> what about tofu tofu hot dog <laughs> tofu fingers. fingers yeah yeah tofu well, fingers well, yeah, okay. <laughs> tofurkey dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. I was like, well, that's literally would be your worst nightmare then as a vegan. You You're go. like, either way, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You found my weak spot. <laughs> yeah, that's going to I'm going to make a short film about that. Just this is this is my film to horrify Mick Garris. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Right. My Amazing. loins are girded. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I didn't I didn't have that on my bingo card. I didn't think I would hear that sentence today and definitely not from you. So thank you. Well, happy to provide it. <laughs> Crossing that off of my bucket list. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm very excited for the awards. I can't wait to see who wins. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of your uh, predictions are going to take home some trophies tonight. Well, here's hoping there's a lot of good stuff, stuff that I didn't even mention, but it's been a great year for horror and the Fango Chainsaw Awards are always a momentous time of the year. All right, fiends, joining us next on our virtual red carpet, a female impersonator impersonator from Dragula season four. Please welcome Sigourney Beaver. Hi, 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 hi. Stunning. Hi. Thank oh, my you. goodness. It was like, whoosh, it was like thrown. I'm, I'm taken aback. <laughs> ah, thank you. That's the best compliment that I've received all day. <laughs> so fierce. I'm loving it. <laughs> so you're joining us tonight from tour. You're on tour right now. I am. Yes. We've just started uh, the Dragula season four U.S. leg of the world tour. Ooh. And we're kicking it off tonight in Portland at the bossa nova ballroom amazing you look stunning and it's i know it's going to be an amazing show thank you. thank you we're about to start our meet and greet in like 30 minutes i'm so excited yay i wish i was there i'll be at the la one so i can say hello to you guys ah, did you get the vip <laughs> i didn't get my tickets yet but i will do that when we Ooh. hang up right now <laughs> you gotta do it quick it's gonna I sell out it. fast if it's not i know already. i know i was Ooh. like if it's, if it's not already sold out i would uh, i'm gonna get my tickets mm -hmm. <laughs> So you were a finalist. Uh, you brought the vag to the page for Dragula season I did. Four. I did. The whole vag to the whole page. The whole vag. Made it all the way to the top four. You didn't half vag it. You whole vaged it. And you made it to the finals. Yeah. As anyone expecting to get to the finals should. Exactly. Whole vag or nothing. Yes. All the way. Yeah. Don't half vag it. I know. I need a t-shirt with that on it. Don't half vag it. And that's something to live by. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Wise words from Sigourney Beaver. Words of wisdom. <laughs> Life philosophies here at the Chainsaw Awards. <laughs> oh, man.
<laughs> so you have so many amazing looks. I loved your Nosferatu beach party was one of my favorites of the season. That was Thank amazing. you. And that your demon look, and I was like, I'm so torn because you're a demon and I should be afraid of you, but you're also so gorgeous and I'm I'm, I'm having torn feelings about this, Oh which my god, I guess thank was the, you. the That's goal, exactly right? what I try to go for with my drag, is I want to be invoking feelings of like seduction and also like fear at the same time. Like Yes. you're like, it's hot and I'm into it, but I'm afraid. Exactly. But I like it. <laughs> Nailed it. You just want people being be just feeling like, I feel real weird about this right now. I'm conflicted. Yes, yes. As I do too. I usually feel very weird all the time, especially in drag. So as long as I can get everyone else on the same plane, Yeah. <laughs> we're it's all dandy. feeling weird together. It's, it's just we're we're here as a community feeling weird together. We feel real weird tonight. <laughs> Every night. <laughs> and I love also in the finale how you incorporated the peeling your skin off, which is also one of those things where it's like, oh, it's so gorgeous and grotesque at the same time. Ah, thank you. It's because I have a fear um, myself of having my skin peeled off. Okay, well, there Yeah, you go. I wanted, I wanted to do something personal. <laughs> yeah, and it's like cathartic, right? Because you're like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm taking charge of my nightmares, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna reenact my nightmares, but under Yeah, my own terms. it's like reliving every horrible sunburn I've ever had my entire life. And being like a ginger, it's been a lot of them. There's been some graphic ones, lots of peeling. <laughs> I was gonna ask that. I was like, have you had a fair amount of of gnarly sunburns? Oh Would my you say? <laughs> God, so badly. Oh my God. I remember one time I had one that was so bad. I like turned purple and it lasted for like weeks, like forever. I was like, should I go to the hospital or something? But like, oh man. And just getting like sunburned on the worst parts too. Like right on the part where like your, your legs bend, like on your hip. Oh, Yes. oh stomach. <laughs> oh, Oh, no. Please tell me you packed a lot of uh, sunblock for tour. You packed No, up like a good I didn't amount. pack What? any, but I figure it's because, like, I don't know, we're on tour, so, like, I'm going to be inside the venue, and, like, you know, freaks come out at night. I'll be sleeping Okay. during the day on the bus, <laughs> Okay. avoiding the sun. <laughs> Living vampire life, then you're fine. I was like, have we learned nothing? But okay, that's fair. You're going to be in darkened theaters and a darkened bus sleeping in your coffin during the day, so you should be fine. And that's how I prefer it, honestly. Okay, as the gods intended. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Do you have any favorite, like, either horror films or favorite kills that came out this year? Do you have any, like, personal favorites? Ooh, from this year, Mm -hmm. oh, I haven't, I haven't really gotten to go and like see a lot of movies or anything this year because Oh, were you like busy we've or been something? so busy I with, understand. <laughs> <laughs> we've been so busy with the tour. I did actually get to uh, finally see it. Had been on my list for a while. I got to see uh, the Green Knight. I watched it on the plane um, on the way back from the UK, and it was. It was really good. It was a little bit different than I was expecting, but like it was fantastic. <laughs> was it more like horrific than you were expecting or what were you, what was the difference? No, it was just confusing because there were a couple different times where I was like, wait, is he dead? And then it would kind of like flash back to him not being dead. And I was like, I'm confused. And then another point I'm like, is this character like even like, do they exist? Or like are they his imagination or what are these mushrooms he ate? Like, what is this talking fox? I don't get it, but I loved it. It was really cool. I was going to say, my guess would then be that you enjoyed it because you felt weird. You felt confused and weird, which Oh means yeah. you probably liked it. <laughs> It was, it was definitely, it was a thinker one, which I like because it was kind of like, there's a lot of things that are open to interpretation for it. So you can kind of take what you want from it, but it was like, and like visually stunning, really beautiful. Right. Yeah. Here for the shrooms and foxes. Yeah. Hey, what else would I come for? <laughs> That's actually how we lured you in tonight. I was like, there's going to be shrooms and foxes. I said, say less. <laughs> what was your favorite kill from the year? Or movie that you've gotten to see. I'm always assuming feel that you're I'm caught like, up. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty caught up. Um, I always feel, I'm like, can I say my favorite kill? Um, Fear Street, the bread slicer scene is something that definitely stuck with me throughout the year. Like I saw that relatively early in the year and I Tell me it more. has never left my brain. Like there's, I don't, I'm not like spoiling it for you, but it's like a No, head I'm asking. goes I'm through. asking for it. <laughs> okay. In great detail, a head goes Mm -hmm. through a bread slicer. So then it's like, you got a head and then it's like, and like just whoosh, it's like a cake disgusting and it's I love amazing that. yes I love that. And you can like see the individual mm pieces. -hmm. Um, yes I keep hearing about like, what is that like, uh, like traveling exhibit? I think it's like body works and they have like the big yes horse and you can pull the different parts and like see it. Like, 
I have That's to see it. I have to see That's a fantastic description course. of it. It's kind of like that because you're like, oh, you can see it's just in like all these individual pieces, like these little stakes, like head stakes. I, I love that. Plays. I love science and nature. I love okay. it. <laughs> then you're going to love Fear Street. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to add it onto the list. Hopefully I can like sneak it in while I'm like on the bus. I can watch Amazing. it like in my tiny little coffin bunk. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to watch that in your coffin on tour and then you're going to DM me and be like, I watched it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. Yes. I can't wait. Amazing. Um, would you, is there anything else that you would like to share with us before we go? Um, anything specific? I mean, get your tickets for the Dragula Season 4 yes. World Tour US leg. <laughs> Not just the great. US leg, any leg, the World Tour. If you're, yeah, if well, you're in London watching this other, right now. The other places no. haven't been announced yet, but oh, keep your... Okay. Keep your ears open and your peepers peeled. <laughs> All right. I will keep my peepers peeled. <laughs> I'll go to the local show and then I'm going to go to somewhere like randomly worldwide and just catch it. Have yes, a vacation do and it. see you guys That's again. That's the way to do it, honestly. Yeah. There's so many people that are that I hear from and they're like, oh my God, I'm coming to this show and then I'm going to these six other cities to also see it. And I'm like, oh, wow. I'm like, Girl, you know, it's the same show, but like, yay, thank you. <laughs> I can't wait. I love they have it, it memorized by that point. They're like performing probably. with you. They could probably like... do it better than I can at that point. <laughs> Nobody can do it better than you can, Sigourney. Come on. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for popping in and joining us for our red carpet. I know you have your yes. meet and greet tonight. It's very exciting. Thank you for having you. me. I love to be had. Yes, we will have you anytime. <laughs> All right. I love that. Break a leg tonight. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Next up, joining us on our virtual red carpet, we have our very own editor-in-chief, Phil Nobile Jr. Yay! <laughs> Can you What's walk up? in and like walk like fashionably, walk across, do a little strut? Absolutely not. Oh, come on. I refuse. Uh, I like that jacket. It's a uh, nice looking uh, horror, horror formal. I got this just for tonight, so thank you. Very cool. <laughs> I dig it. How's it going? How's how's the red carpet treating you? Um, it's treating me pretty well, actually. I'm having a good time. Too much too much fun good. on the clock, probably. <laughs> well, you know, live to work or don't work. To, I don't know. Something we like that. Something along those lines. I am having fun on the clock for sure. I'm glad. Excellent. Okay, so we have new categories this year. Can you tell us about what those are? Yes. Um. You know, last year we we had a, a nonfiction category, which was a new category. But in the nonfiction category was all of these random sort of like shows and documentaries against shows. And it seems weird to put like a, a thoughtful three hour folk horror documentary, let's say, against Joe Bob Briggs. <laughs> it seemed like, you know, both are providing a valuable service, but they don't seem like they should be in competition with each other. So we broke out documentaries into their own category this year, which I'm excited about. And then um, speaking of Joe Bob, um, Jolene Richardson, who's like the costume designer on the last drive-in, she she is a contributor in Fango, and she hit me up and said, are you guys going to do a costume design category? And I was like, uh, and you know me, I don't like to say no to people. So <laughs> I, uh, I immediately said, yeah, we're totally going to do a costume design category. And so she helped us actually sort of source, you know, land on, on the nominees for that. So I'm excited for that one too. You know, uh, I think... If I, I was looking at the Wikipedias of all the chance awards and certain categories have come and gone over the years, but I think that, you know, costume design is certainly a valid and long overdue category for horror films. Um, I'm really excited for the best kill category. I think it's cool that it's a write in and I know that's like a nightmare logistically to count those. Um, so I'm really glad that I'm not involved in that process, but I think shout it's out, just very cool. Shout, shout out, out to, to Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Shaw <laughs> counting those best kills. Jimmy Shaw. I just imagine him. I know it's digital, but I like to imagine him sitting and there's just piles of paper and it's just ballots. And he's like, has an abacus and like piles of paper and is like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Paper ballots with little hanging chits and whatnot. Yeah. You know. And also because it's right in, like people aren't going to phrase it the same way. So it's like, he has to also be able to decipher that and understand like what that's from and count it in the same category. So I have, I have faith in him. It's, I have all the faith out. in Jimmy. I have yeah. all the faith in the world in Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. One thing that I'm excited about this year, though, that's different is that <clears throat> I hope I, bosses hopefully aren't watching this, but last year we shipped the awards and they all broke. <laughs> they all, I'm not all of them, but I think all of them broke. So, you know, 
It doesn't. It still looks cool. It looks like the chainsaw broke off in the skull. Like you were chainsawing his head so hard that it, it like snapped, snapped it. in half. And sure, it's just but stuck then there. displaying it becomes a thing. But so we've redesigned the statue and, and we've shipped it to the winners in two pieces. And we forgot to put instructions in there. So. Oh, no. We have to do an instruction video and then we can send that out. It's to too everyone. late now. It's, oh, it's, no. We're here. It's the night. I'm excited to see who figured out. Because it's 50 50. How are you going to put that statue together? I want to see who did it right and who did it wrong. But I will say last year was a, a lesson in that the horror crowd does does not lean in any one direction. You know what I mean? They do spread the love. And I think that that's encouraging. You know what I mean? It, it's not, it's not everybody just picking the, the, the rusty old favorites. It, it does get mixed up and there's some, there's some exciting kind of, you know, the new blood is in there and the old guard is in there. And, and uh, I think that I can't think of a better illustration of the mosaic of the horror crowd uh, than, than our, our list of it nominees, our expansive list of nominees uh, wide release, limited release, streaming premiere. What were the other ones? I mean, it's just so many different movies in different categories. And yeah. uh, it's, it, it was a bear of a year in terms of stuff. Like so many movies came out, so many good stuff, good, so many good stuff, so many good movies and shows. So many came good out. stuff. I'm an editor. Good words things. are hard. <laughs> yes. Listen, I save that energy for other people's words. Oh, gotcha. So. <laughs> Not when I'm talking to you. Okay, mm -hmm, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I will say I do prefer the term old guard over rusty old favorites. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaurs yeah but not the literal dinosaurs that'll be next year that's different. jurassic world Separate. Maybe, hopefully. yeah jurassic world 2023 chainsaw wars is that what you're saying i haven't seen it yet but okay i i, I did learn uh, you know i in this gig you learn who, what people love and uh what i can tell you is that people love dinosaurs people are here for the dinosaurs like people are like turning up hard for the dinosaurs i didn't realize like how intensely they would turn out for dinosaurs i didn't either but you know it's 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 important to learn as we go and and, and now we know about now we know the dinosaur love out i there thought it was world. just jason i thought it was jason was like going hard for the dinos and i was like oh no there's a whole you have a whole community of dino people <laughs> oh god people people were posting the inside of the magazine early and everything getting all excited about this dinosaur and that dinosaur more power <laughs> to them all right well is there anything else you're particularly particularly excited about tonight <laughs> i'm i'm excited that we kind of like raised the ante a little bit this year mm -hmm. we, you know last year was like covid party central everybody zooming in everybody filming on their iphones and this year is a little more like a legit award show mm -hmm. and we're inching our way back into the real world and i feel like next year live event you in the parking lot selling t-shirts <laughs> okay <laughs> me scalping tickets i'm here Do you know for what it. i mean yeah <laughs> getting thrown out of our own event possibly prosecuted okay all right could be good all yeah. right I would not do well in jail. I just have to be able to outrun anyone that's trying to arrest me. <laughs> You'd get traded for a carton of cigarettes in a heartbeat. I would. I would I would be someone's girlfriend so fast, and it wouldn't be someone whose girlfriend I wanted to be. <laughs> and I know that about myself. I, I have nothing else to add to this conversation. <laughs> I will, but I will schlep the t-shirts, and I will just outrun anyone who tries to, like, stop me. And then we're there fine. All right. Go. Live event 2023. Here for it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Enjoy the show. All right, next up, we have our friend Jill Givargizian joining us on the virtual red carpet. Hello, hey, y'all. Oh, you? hello, Hi. hello. <laughs> you look amazing. It's a bright, sunny day today. <laughs> Thank you. It's a bright, so sunny May day. Yes, indeed. Hey, you're nominated tonight for Best First Feature. Yeah, yeah. It's so exciting. Um, it's honestly so surreal uh, to get like an, um, a freaking accolade like this from Fangoria. And the films we're up against, honestly, are like some of the best of the year. So I don't know what I think. I'm excited for whoever wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I would be happy with whoever wins this because there's, it's a very strong category. And I was very excited all, like when I saw your name on here because I remember when The Stylist first came out, I got to do a Zoom interview with you and the cast and the crew, and it was very exciting. And then we got to hang out at Fantastic Fest. So I was like, yeah, when I saw your name on the list. 
And it was a huge surprise. I'm pretty sure someone else told me, I was like, what? Where? <laughs> How do I see this? Is it in the magazine? <laughs> And well, I ordered a, a copy and I got it on my mantle with the yes. nomination in it. Is it framed? <laughs> you don't have like framed open to that page and like framed up on the wall? Not yet, but I need to do that. Okay, you need to get another copy <laughs> and then you have it like that. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's a very well deserved nomination. I it's like it was my it was my favorite movie about scalping this year. I will definitely say that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It was you know, such a dream come true just to finally make this film. It started as a short film took us years to finally get it to come to life and to have so many people like it and it get these kind of accolades is beyond like the dreams we could have imagined for it. Amazing. I don't know if people know this. It, I always like to like throw this in there. You made this movie about a stylist who scalps people and is a serial killer and you yourself are a stylist. <laughs> yes. I was thinking the other day about how autobiographical biographical the stuff that I write is. Uh -huh. And I was like because something I'm working on now is more close, but I'm like, well, the stylist is, I just added the killer part, which is actually <laughs> terrifying. Sure, um, sure. Just <laughs> added the killer part. That wasn't autobiographical. Okay. <laughs> totally, not. totally not at all. Nice. Can you tell us anything about about the, uh, the, the new one coming up, or is it still all secrets? It's very secretive. Okay. <laughs> just give me one thing, a little crumb. <laughs> well, I do have something else I can talk about a little bit um okay i am helping produce a new feature called black mold that we just finished principal photography on and it's written directed by john pata who edited the stylist or a very tight film family work on each other's stuff um so i'm excited for that to be i can't wait to, wait to see it put together i love that do you guys have like a name for your little film family we don't, but we need to because we're kind of like all these different production companies yes. together. And but we're all Midwest based, so it's kind of cool. We're like Chicago, Wisconsin, Kansas City. Um, so yeah, cute it's Midwest crazy. babies. Think of a better name than that. Please don't use that for your name. But <laughs> <laughs> the Midwest babies. Mid Midwest babies. It's like the Muppet Babies spinoff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a very morbid one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I would watch the shit out of that for sure. <laughs> all right well i'm so glad we got to chat with you good luck tonight i'm very excited for all of you um is there anything else that you're, is there like any category that you're particularly excited about or like something this year where you were just like oh my god that just like blew your mind well i'm really excited to see the best kill since that's like a write-in um but honestly it was really it's like it's hard for me because i'm such a huge fan of censor prana bailey bond's film that we're up against um, our short films came out at the same time. Censor was based on a short. And so it's just such a cool thing to see us like on the same, going on the same trajectory. But I think her film is like way huger than mine, but it's, I'm so happy to see it come out the same year. They're both huge and amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck tonight. And uh, we will see you soon. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Next up on our virtual red carpet, we have the director of tonight's whole big shebang. Please welcome director Amalia. Hey. hey. Oh, hey. Hi, fancy. Thank you. I was going to call you fancy pants, but I literally can't see, so. Oh, there's there's nothing from the waist down. Like, this, this is what you get. Oh, hello, fancy upper torso. Yes. Donald Duck at the Oscars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love the whole Donald Duck bit where it's like if his shirt comes off, he like covers his junk. But I'm like, yeah. sir, that was out free balling the entire time. I don't know why all of a sudden now you're like, oh, my tits are showing. So now I got to cover like my lower junk. Like something's going to give. <laughs> <laughs> you got to you gotta have either or. You can't just be like full blown. You got to have something covered. One just of the a two. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we're at. <laughs> That's uh, it's, it's half modest. I'll take it. All right. Cheers to you. This is a huge night for you. Cheers. Yes, I'm so excited. What are you most excited for tonight? Are you allowed to say, or do you have to be like, I, I'm just excited for everything? <laughs> I am excited to see D. Wallace, and mm -hmm. I'm excited to see Radio Silence. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What about you? What are you most excited for? I'm excited for everything. <laughs> for everything. Oh my God. I cannot wait to see who wins everything. 
I'm very excited. You voted, right? Tell me that you voted. Oh, of course I voted. Well, okay. I, I voted before I got the job. So then oh. I was like, should I have done that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I feel like that's even better though, right? And it's like less weird than you're like, oh, I'm, I'm working on this. And then I voted because you're like, no, I just voted as a fan. And then I got the job. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I'm just kind of like, you know, even like when I have like a suspicion of who's going to win, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited too. Like, I want to see, I have like my fan favorites as well. <laughs> right. Yeah. I kind of love when I have like a suspicion of who's going to win and mm -hmm. then it kind of, it, it's actually, it's totally wrong. And like yeah. people surprise me with their like, votes. Last I'm like, year okay. was like that too. Mm -hmm. Last year it was like, I thought for sure certain people were going to win that didn't. So it's, you know, it's all up to the fans. So it's, it's exciting to see it could be anybody. Which is why it's awesome, because I'm like, oh, this is really actually, like, the fans are choosing this shit. The fans have spoken, and that's where the chainsaw goes. That's cool <laughs> shit. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and we don't even, you know, like, we don't even know. Nobody tallies the ballots in advance. There's no, like, you know, watching it as it piles up. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's all secret. <laughs> yes. My favorite category, though, because I feel like this is, like, the most absolutely like fan generated thing that you can have is the write in ballots for the best kill. I feel bad yeah. for whoever counts it. I didn't have to count it, thank God. But <laughs> shout out to Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> it's chaos. It's absolute chaos. But I'm like, yeah. that's cool as shit because it's like you can write in whatever weird ass thing you want to write in. Do you have any like suspicions? I do. I don't. I, well, I know what my favorite one was um and I kind of feel like I heard like a lot of chatter about that this year so I think that might be it but what's what's yours do you have a favorite or some favorite kills of the year I mean I don't know if I have a favorite but like the first one that jumps into my mind when I think of like best kill would be like Michael v Myers versus the firefighters oh like just yeah like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that like We're silhouette of, like... That. oh my god holy <laughs> shit <laughs> that was great that was a solid one I like that it was like a nice Absolutely. little silhouette moment yeah <laughs> that was gruesome I was here for it yeah <laughs> absolutely evil cries tonight guys Blood, <laughs> bloody tears <laughs> man what other categories are you most excited for I am so excited for the new costuming category. Mm -hmm. This is our first year with that and same with documentary. And honestly, every like nominee in both of those categories is amazing. Like whoever takes it deserves it. <laughs> I was a little bit agonizing uh, voting this year because it was very rare that I had a category where I was like, oh, yes, definitely this is my pick. I was like, oh, yes, but also, ah, I love this one, too. Like, they're so good. <laughs> same, same. There's, like, ever, and, like, I know so many of the directors. Like, I want them all to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get a chainsaw. You get a chainsaw. You get a chainsaw. Everybody gets chainsaws. That's why we're not in charge of that part, because everybody you just give them to everybody. Trophies. You, know, you all did such a great job. You all get this. Like, that's not how these work. <laughs> Man. So, who are you excited to see what they're going to wear? Um, you know what? That part is actually very exciting for me. I'm like, oh, I want to see everyone's, like, fashion and, like, bringing it. Um, Diana Prince, I always love to see what I know, she's going to wear, right? <laughs> She's like my number one. I'm like, what is she going to wear? I bet it's going to be fabulous. Yes, because she always does like a, like she does amazing cosplays, but then she does also like amazing glam. And then she does like these mashups of it. And I'm like, so I'm like always excited to see what she's going to be wearing. <laughs> Absolutely. She's like my number one. I'm like, I bet her dress is going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so much pressure though, right? If people have that like, idea of you like, oh, you're going to deliver. So you're like, well, shit, now I got to really make sure to like up the ante every single time. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why I like to set the bar low, and then you guys see me, and you're oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, see, okay. see, well, we're like the, the reservoir dogs in the back. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll happily take that. Now we Same. need to do a segment where we're just, like, walking up the red carpet in our reservoir dogs walk. Yes, like our 
Girls in suits. <laughs> Fuck yeah, girls in suits. I'm here for it. Okay, can you please uh, direct a horror movie, girls in suits, and just let, don't give me any lines. I just will be one of the girls in suits and we like do yes. murders and stuff. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Done. You're hired. Thank you. Appreciate it. But the important <laughs> part is no lines. I don't want to do any of that. You are great at lines. I've worked with you twice now, and I can say you were fabulous in front of the camera. That's just because you had the cattle prod, and you kept having to jab me with it. I'm like, oh, sorry. Okay. That's just that's just how my sets roll. It's just for fun. It's just and that's the only reason I sign up to say yes. I'm, sets, I'm like, is there a cattle prod involved? I will fucking be there. You don't even have to pay me. Just prod me several times. I'll be there. Oh, man. All right. Oh, Barbara's before... like, oh, light. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Before I forget, Mick Garris asked me to tell you that he said hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, hello, Mick. You're awesome. I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> I have same. He's like, can you, oh, please tell her I said hello. And I was like, okay, that's a, that is a flex. Yes. Let me make sure that I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I grew up in Bangor, Maine, like in Stephen King country. Mm -hmm. So I knew who Mick Garris was from like the time I was like six. Yes. And I was like, he is the coolest. And like, every time I see him somewhere, I'm just like, <laughs> like I'm so scared to talk to him. <laughs> well, he's like that. Well, have you talked to him before? A little bit, but you know, okay. it makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's like one of those, it's like this combination of like, he's a fucking legend and amazing and iconic, but also like so fucking delightful that it's like, well, now that's just too much. It's like just <laughs> too much awesomeness coming at me. Like, I don't even know what to do with this because you're so sweet and friendly and lovely and amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Well, okay, go, uh, you probably have a lot to do. You probably have a lot of things on your to-do list as far as, like, directing for the evening, I would imagine. So thank you for hanging out and chatting with us. <laughs> yeah, it is a pleasure. I'll see you at the concession stand later. I will see you at the concession stand. I gotta go get changed. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> And now, you guys, I didn't think we are going to be able to make this happen, but we were able to put this together for you. Please put your hands together for one of my ultimate childhood and lifelong favorites, Mr. Jazz Hands himself. Jazz Hands, yeah! Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Is it Dilophosaurus? Mr. Dilophosaurus, am I pronouncing that correctly? Okay, but we around here we just lovingly call you Mr. Jazz Hands. Ah! <laughs> I would ask you to do the spit thing for me, but I don't. I don't know if that's impolite to ask. I'm, or I'm, I'm sorry if I've offended. If I'm, I'm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So this is very exciting to have you here. Um, you are okay. Well, not technically you, uh, but your movie is on our latest cover so that's that's still exciting right yeah all right <laughs> we're very excited about that and, and oh my god look at that there you are there you are i don't want to embarrass you but this is a great shot look at that glamour shot glamour shot we love it <laughs> so wh who are you most excited to see tonight <laughs> that's great all right love it yeah and what was your favorite kill? Favorite kill is a big category. It's a it's a fill in the blank audience fan favorite write in. What was your pick for that this year? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think we I think we have the same one actually. Yeah, it's a popular one. It's a good one. It's stuck with me throughout the year. <laughs> and uh, what would you say is your what was your favorite? Uh... <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> Uh, okay, <clears throat> what, what would you say was your favorite movie overall this year of our nominees? I know there's so many to choose from. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, 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 that, agreed. 100%, I could not agree more. I think that is probably my favorite as well. As difficult as it is to choose. <laughs> uh, what other questions can I ask you? Um... Oh, okay. You know, I know it's early to say, but I'm thinking, are you... Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> I know it's early to call it, but do you think maybe Jurassic World Dominion could be in the running for a 2023 chainsaw? Maybe we'll have you guys back as nominees next year? I'm feeling pretty good about it. I haven't seen it yet, but I've, I've just got a feeling, you know? 
Also, I don't know if you've met uh, Jason, but I feel like if he has anything to do with it, it's just going to be Jurassic Park is going to sweep the Chainsaw Awards next year. <laughs> <laughs> full sweep, full sweep. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Mr. Jazz Hands, for joining us on the red carpet. This has been a childhood dream fulfilled. I'm not just saying that because you're on my screen right now. You truly are my number one favorite dinosaur, and this has been wonderful having you here. Hopefully, we'll get to meet next year. All right, everyone, get up. Give it up for Mr. Jazz Hands. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have a very special guest joining us. Please welcome Julia Raywald from the Fear Street series. Yay! Yay. <laughs> hey, welcome! Hello, thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here. I told you before, but I'm like a major Fear Street stan, so I'm like, yes, this is, this is like checking all my boxes for me. <laughs> Yay, happy to be here, happy to be back. <laughs> so Fear Street 1666 is nominated tonight for best streaming premiere. So congratulations for that. Thank you. Excited. <laughs> which was your favorite uh, to film of the series? Well, two part question. Which was your favorite to film and which was your favorite to watch? Hmm. I think my favorite to film might have mm, <laughs> maybe maybe four because that was what I started with. So. Uh huh. It was kind of like a little nost a little soft spot in my heart for that one. And then I guess the opposite would be like funnest to watch was probably a um, 70, 78 or 1666 because okay. the second one I just, I like wasn't in it like at all. And I kind of stayed away from reading the newer drafts of it because I wanted to be surprised. <laughs> when I did watch it and, and it really kind of made the viewing experience when I got the screener for it pretty awesome. And same thing goes for 1666. I obviously knew what was happening, but I was like, I don't want it. Like when I'd get new draft updates to be like, actually, yeah, like I, this, I don't need to read this mm -hmm. for like my performance in the like parts that I'm in. So I was like, I will, stay away and be surprised that I watched it. So I was like at the 1666 premiere and I remember the whole like, when it goes back to 94, all that stuff was like, it felt so new to me because it had been like so long since like the draft that I'd read. Yeah. And I was like that experience of watching specifically when it goes back to 94 in the third movie, I was like, that was, that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> it was sick for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, like a such like a weird and unique experience. Like how many times will you get to experience that sort of thing in your career? You know what I mean? Where it's like you're in it, but you're also getting to enjoy it so much as like a fan and kind of be surprised by certain things. I'm like, that's a really weird kind of setup. And I imagine that doesn't happen often for actors. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. No, it was, it was really awesome. And it's like the parts that I – was being surprised by that I wasn't really a part of were also parts like that were being brought to life by my friends in the project. <laughs> it's like you you get to like, it's just so cool to see everyone like be so talented as like a friend and an audience member. Yeah. I love that. That's like, I'm so big on that too. I'm like, I'm like such a cheerleader for people, even people that I don't know, like I'm a cheerleader for you. We've never met, but like, just when you're like, see people doing cool shit, you know? And then you're like, oh, like I'm so like rooting for you and gunning for you. And then when it's your friends and you see them doing cool shit and you're like, fuck yes. Like I am like, it's just like my heart is like exploding. <laughs> That's awesome. So Fear Street 1666 is nominated, but I had also a selfish reason for inviting you here today. <laughs> The way we do our best kill category, we don't have nominations. It's a completely like fill in the blank, write in. I don't know who won. Somebody has to still tally those votes. But for my personal like best kills of the year, I could not fucking get the bread slicer scene out of my head. Your head going through it. It's been in my head since I first saw it. So I was like, I got to invite you to come and hang out tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, I, I still think about it too sometimes. <laughs> You're like, every time I close my eyes. <laughs> so what's it like to be, uh, you know, one of the most iconic kill scenes of the year? <laughs> Honestly, it was awesome. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm like, I understand that there's like an appeal in like surviving a horror uh -huh. movie. And I'm like, yeah, like I love a good final girl. Like I love it. 
but I'm also, I, I love an iconic death scene. And like, <laughs> I like, like previous deaths in horror movies that like are favorites of mine. And I'm like, oh, I was reading the script when I got the audition for it. And I was like, that whole grocery store scene, just reading it, I was like, I know this is going to look so good as a final product. Like I can feel how scary and like, like nervous it's going to be just by reading it. So I like, I knew it was going to translate well when it like all came together and I'm so happy it did. <laughs> what was your reaction when you very first read the part of like, and then her head goes through the bread slicer? Like we just like, what? I was, I was so, I was excited. Yeah. I, I was like, this is, I knew something was going to be gnarly because most of the, I mean, the core group had, you know, they'd survived up until that point. Mm -hmm. I was like, I know something's about to go terribly, terribly wrong. And I was really kind of glad that it, <laughs> it went as wrong <laughs> as I wanted it to. Like, I was like, I liked that it was as like, we're going to really mess it up. Um, so I'm like, it's tragic. It's absolutely tragic, yeah. which is, which is like a, such a, such a joy to get to play as an actor. I was excited. <laughs> by it. I remember the part where they like smash her head into the cake. That was the part reading it that I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> like so she's not only getting massacred, she's getting massacred to pieces while being covered in like frosting. I was like, dang. <laughs> can't catch a break. <laughs> I love that dichotomy though. You know, it's like this weird, like she's covered in frosting, but also her head is in multiple pieces. Colorful, playful, like palette of color, but mm -hmm. she's also just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was honestly so, so shocked when I saw that. Because, I mean, I watch a lot of horror, so I'm like, I don't know, this could go like very horrifically wrong, but I was like, I still wasn't quite sure exactly what the tone of it was. I was like, is this like, if this is like a young adult kind of thing, they, they're probably not going to go that dark with it, you know? And it's like a close call, but like she survives at the end and like s switches spots at the last moment. But then no, and it went so brutal that I was like, what the fuck just happened? And then I was like, okay, this is going to be like sick. Like, <laughs> yeah, so we, fun. Yeah, because I mean, you're like, you kind of hope, you're like, maybe it won't be like one of those movies where everyone dies brutally. <laughs> and then it starts to happen. And then I think it's a perfect lead up to the second movie, which is such a slasher type. We're like, mm -hmm. everyone's getting brutally yeah. killed. It's and it's kind of like, let us hang for a little bit. Like, okay, maybe it's not, maybe it is. And then it's like, that is like sets the tone for like the rest of what is like to follow. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, it just balls out brutal from that point. <laughs> yeah, yep amazing did you have any other favorite kills this year or do you have favorite kills just you're talking about in general like in the genre in general yeah like off the top of my head I mean Tatum the Riley the garage death was always my favorite iconic and then I love the Johnny Depp one from Nightmare on Elm Street mm -hmm. those were like the two that I always like I can like they were just so visually well done to me. Yeah. That I'm and, and very unique. Uh -huh. Those are probably my two favorite in general. I'd have to think about my favorite recent. As you're saying that, I can see like frame by frame playing in my head as I'm sure like people watching right, right now can like like see the playback like exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like I'm like I, if it, if a death can like visually stick with me after watching it, that's like usually the kind of stuff that I, I'm drawn to. Yes. Well, for me personally, you you have joined the ranks of like, I'm watching it frame by frame in my head of like, oh my God. <laughs> like, I remember where I was at the exact moment when I first saw this. <laughs> awesome. Anything else you want to share with us before we go? Um, No, I don't think so. I'm just happy to be here and I'm excited to see how the awards go. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Chainsaw Awards. I'm, I mean, I, I already said I, you got my vote for best kill. So I'm excited to see how that turns out because there are no nominees. So it could be like such chaos. So it's, we really have no way of like uh, gauging, but I'm like, all right, I know what my vote was for. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Creepy creeps for our next guest joining us on our virtual red carpet. Please 
put your claws together for Devin Sawa. Yay. Hello. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Thank you <laughs> I'm for wonderful. Having me. Thank you. Hey, you're looking good, good. spiffy. I'm liking this jacket yes, glasses I, I, uh, combo. I put on a special, a special suit today. I thought in honor of the Chainsaw Awards, I would uh, dress. There you go. I, I need Beautiful. one of those. I was going to, I was going to the garage and get the chainsaw. And I thought, you know, my kids came in the room and I had a, a, a chainsaw in here. It'd be a little weird. So it's very this casual. Is it. This I is love it. it. This is my uh, chainsaw awards get up. No, that's beautiful. I love it. It's just the right amount of like gore and fashion blended together, you know? Right. Well, I haven't been able to wear this shirt anywhere because, you know, you can't exactly wear it to kids baseball or, or you know, it's just not appropriate. So it sits in the closet. And, and finally today, I was like, oh, my God, the chainsaw award. What better, <laughs> what, what better place to wear it? And so, so this is the exclusive premiere of this shirt then? Of the shirt, yeah. I we got it right off. here. On I ripped Fangoria. the tag off five minutes ago. Amazing. I love there it. There you go. You guys heard it here first, Fangoria exclusive. Boom. <laughs> hey, speaking of, you did have mm -hmm. the, an article recently in Fangoria. Yes. So <laughs> I, I usually don't do it in this room. It's a little dark, whatnot. But um, I wanted to bring you guys into the room that I have my favorite uh, issue of Fangoria right up there on the wall. I don't know if you can see it on that side. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. I, I, Beautiful. I, I, have, I can't lie, I, I begged and pleaded to, to be on the cover of the magazine, and you guys like, were like, okay, sure, and there it is, happy, and you know, it's a bucket list. See, that doesn't work for everyone, though. Now, people are like, oh, you just have to ask to be on the cover. No, no, no. You're like, you, you have quite a few. Oh, no, totally. Get, get in their DMs, <laughs> ask them, they'll oh, no. totally do it. I'm like, don't say you that. Our DMs are going to be blowing up. People are going to be like, what's her email address? I'm like, no, 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 that's not me. Message yeah. Phil, not me. There you go. Phil loves getting DM about <laughs> about cover shoots. Call Phil. He loves it. Phil, I didn't say it. You want to go after him, not me. I didn't say shit. Okay. <laughs> so Chucky is nominated, and you were on yes. Chucky. Yes. And you got to do I, I something. I was on Chucky. You were on Chucky. And you have I this distinct double death on Chucky. Not a lot of people get I to get do. killed off twice in one season. I do it. Don Mancini was so over the moon doing it. He, he, <laughs> we, we killed me in the beginning, and then he's like, we got to kill you again at the end. And, and um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't have a lot of deaths. I, 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 uh, it was good. It was nice that I knew that I was dying, because sometimes mm -hmm. you get on series and um, you get like a call like the Monday before you start shooting and say, oh, by the way, we thought it'd be great for the show if your character dies uh, and you're gone. But like Don had all eight scripts written and and so I knew I was getting into and and um, I'm excited that I got to be a part of the Chucky universe and that uh, and they're up there doing it again and I can't wait to watch what they what they do and and so yeah I would love to if they could somehow revive you and bring you back for the second season because you were so much fun in the first season I'm like oh those were great deaths but then they just the they second just season <laughs> he just digs me up and I you know all of a sudden yes. we do zombies into the thing I don't know we'll, we, you know I, listen if, if Don called and said we got a flashback scene um, I would be on a plane in, in a heartbeat but I, I'm just um, I'm excited that uh, I got to, I got a, then Don gave me one of those Chucky's in a boxes and I got you know Chucky <laughs> swag and I'm in a you know I'm in the Chucky world it's kind of like you know Freddie and Jason and Leatherface and you know, you know and Chucky mm -hmm. he's he's iconic. So, He's for sure. You know, yeah. Yeah. You're you're forever immortalized in an iconic franchise with two deaths. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I'm a rotten guy twice in, <laughs> yeah. on a, on a Chucky verse. <laughs> Did you have a favorite death? You get to be electrocuted and then you're also basically pummeled to death by Chucky as a murder yeah. weapon. <laughs> so I, I I obviously like the second death because I get to last longer. Um, <laughs> I, I think the uh, I think him puking out whiskey and electrocuting me was very original um and it's fun to watch don's face watching playback he gets so much joy out of watching <laughs> um my different uh takes on on the electrocutions um i like them both i i i really liked uh the young the working with that young cast was was um a lot of fun so watching them get to kill me was was cool too yeah nice <laughs> yeah. Is it, do you have fun watching your deaths back like when you're watching playback <laughs> Well, I made them, I, I'm fine with it because I, you know, it's, it's whatever. But my son, who's eight, by the way, he uh, watched the pilot episode and he, he wasn't 
I had to, we had to have a talk after. I was like, I'm here. They didn't really, like, I'm not that guy. Like, he's just a character. <laughs> oh you know, um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll fly up to visit the cast and crew on, on Chucky 2 and bring my son and show him all the different, uh, you know. I, I think you kind of have to. I didn't realize you showed your eight year old son your, like, extreme, like, electrocution death scene. I thought, you know, it's on regular TV. How bad could it be? And it was pretty bad. <laughs> you Listen, were there. What do you mean? I, I do some pretty questionable parenting things, but I think I'm overall okay. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying maybe right. you should probably take your son to set and be like, "Look, it. Everyone is alive and having fun." He hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre yet, so we're good. I think we're saving that for old, his ninth birthday. That's that's a nine year old birthday. Old, I had seen most of those films. I had a video card. I had a, uh, <laughs> and I would rent anything, and, and I think I'd seen a lot of these films by eight. I'm sure. I love that. So you're you're a whorehound from like a young age then. Like you were yeah. in it. <laughs> yeah, what I, I was it was all about what was on the box. Like, you know, yep. what, I, what what was the weirdest like pumpkin head or or ghoulies, whatever the you know, whatever box was was the coolest <laughs> looking and 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 the guy, the old man at the ABC video would let us rent whatever as long as we stayed you know from going back behind the curtain, the you know, the <laughs> curtain. Um, we could we got all the you know, any Schwarzenegger, Stallone movie, the whole horror section. And we, we were, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just renting, you know, and we'd watch them over and over again. It was, it's great times. Oh, uh, that's the life. Hell yeah. It was the life. Yeah. Is there like an iconic box cover that just like stands out to you from this day that you remember from childhood? Yes, because I had it on, I had the poster on. It was, I guess it was a, you know, a little bit older, but uh, Return of the Living Dead. Um, with the with the skeleton punks, yes. I had that poster because I used to get the posters from the he would, once he was done with them, he'd give me the posters, and that poster stayed on my wall from like most of my childhood. So Amazing. that's that's the most one. And Ghoulies obviously is a, yeah. is a great one when he's coming out of the toilet and um, House. Uh, I mean, there's so many great ones. They just it was just it was so campy and awesome and. Mm -hmm. and lovely it was it was good times i feel like you very much have a certain style that you gravitated towards because the three that you just listed i'm like they're kind of in the same vein as far as the key art goes <laughs> yeah i like i don't i like that that's why i gravitated to chucky i, I like there to be a, a like a sprinkle of of campiness to it yeah there, there's got to be it's got to be good and scary and and but it's also got to be fun and cheeky and mm -hmm. and um that's i mean return of the living dead is 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 you know, and Tremors, and like I like I liked all those kind of those yeah. fun horror films. You know, I could do The Shining. I, I mean, I always had it on my wall, but um, and and the ex or the Exorcist and Rosemary's Baby, but I prefer the 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 other ones. Yes, you know? I love that because I love all that stuff too. But like deep in my heart, I'm like fun horror is like my jam. <laughs> right? Yes. It's, it's Good times. Did, did, and did, nobody did. does fun horror like in mid '80s, mid late '80s. Exactly. Like fun horror is like exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I love some it. Good ones. <laughs> Hold that thought. What's coming? Hey, just hello from needs an old one. friend. Yeah, everybody needs one. <laughs> Mine has to stay in my closet right now because everybody's. Yeah, even though I have the happy one too, it's like uh, it's got to stay in the box and it's up in the closet. And uh, they come in and look every once in a while, but but yeah, <laughs> love it. You were just traumatizing your household. I love it. It's I a know. good time. <laughs> we have we have a lot of swag. We have a blanket somewhere. We have uh, we have a lot of Chucky swag now. You should have just been like wearing all the swag, like just head to toe, like obnoxiously, just like swagged out. Only Chucky. I had to give this shirt a go. I you know, there's nowhere else to wear it. <laughs> no, I do appreciate this shirt. I I, I really like this. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us on our virtual Thank red you. carpet. Thank you. And I, I I love you guys and what you do, and I've been reading you guys for a long time. And and thank you for letting me slide into your DMs and ask you for a cover shoot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think uh, after the eighth or ninth time, you agreed. And so thank you so much. Thanks, Bill, for me. I will. And that makes it an even better story. You know what I mean? I love that. <laughs> slid, slid into the DMs, made it on the cover, baby. Got that, a full that's article. That's what you got to do, right? You got to go after what you want, kids. Let that's, that be a lesson. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Thank you so much. Good luck to Chucky tonight. And uh, we'll much. see you at the awards. Congratulations and good luck to all the nominees. Cheers. All right, gang, that's it. In the immortal words of one Beetlejuice, it's showtime.
Follow me over to Shudder for the main event. Thank you to all the creeps who joined me on the red carpet tonight. Thank you to you for tuning in, and thank you to everyone who voted. I'll catch you over on Shudder right now. All right, I've got to get over to Shudder. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Let's go. Shudder, Shudder, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs>